Today I am going to show you five of the best meta weapon loadouts for season four. There's been a lot of changes, a lot of buffs, a lot of nerfs that have changed the meta around and flipped it on its head almost. And there's two new amazing additions into the meta, which is honestly changing up the space of BR and Resurgence. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first class we are going to be talking about is actually got two new weapons in it. The Supari, the Super E46 sub, and the Car 98. Um, now, the new sub has got a really fast time to kill, but there's one big outline as to why that this weapon is actually so good. Now, with the new addition of this weapon, it has added some absolutely fast move weapon right now. It has got the fastest movement in the game if you build it correctly. Uh, which I'll show you the build shortly. But it also has some of the fastest times of kills as well. Um, assuming that you hit your bullets, right? Uh, it kills people quite quick. Now, there is one big draw side to it. Is that the magazine is quite small. It only has a 40-round mag. Which, again, it does lack in some areas compared to other subs. But it definitely has a fast time to kill. So if we're going to go over the attachments, we've got the Zemin Compensator Muzzle, with the XRK Edge BW4 Hand Stop, the High Grain Round Mags, uh, the 40 Round Mag, and the Rescue Stock. Now, what I would say is you can drop and change a few of the attachments about. Uh, what I would say that the necessities are the Magazine and the High Grain Rounds. You can also put the DR6 Hand Stop on there as well. And you could also run the um the cutthroat stock i prefer the rescue stock as some people have been running their stock but i think it does add a lot of recoil we're gonna part this up with a car 98 this is an all-time favorite for a lot of people people have been building this in a lot of different ways but i've been playing warzone all day yesterday since the update has come out and all day today to try and find and fine tune the best build for resurgence and also br at the same time sonic suppressor the uh, third barrel um, with the high grain rounds, the SPX 6.6, .6, and a no stock. Now, you can use the last sight, which is, let me go to it quickly, which is the OG car scope. But if you are running the no stock, it does cause some issues with the alignment right now. Now, I'm pretty sure it's a bug that Activision are aware of, but there's a lot of alignments right now, which obviously causing a lot of issues so if you are wanting to use the original scope take off the no stock keep that off and whack on the tactical sling instead or the aim that sight one now again try them out for yourself which was better you kind of use it just to kind of get the extra ads but it's back baby it really is back and honestly it feels great uh, i've been playing br all day today which May I say the update to BR is absolutely amazing. So shout out to Raven Software for bringing out such a massive update. But the Car 98K is back and it feels amazing. So that's the first load that I'm going to be trying. Now all of my classes have the same perks and technical and lethals. So I may as well go over them once right now and then the rest of them I will not go over. But I do have a smoke grenade. I use Sam Texan also to drop and change out sometimes for thermites or thermobaric nades. They are broken right now. So if you are wanting something that does kill quite quick, them two are absolutely broken. And then my perks of choice are double time mounts and a quick fix I have. Got rid of tempered for the people that are wondering. I put on high alerts. I do think that the footsteps are a lot better. Now, moving on to the second class, we do have a bit of the same class from season three reloaded. It is the DG58 and the Striker 9. Now, again, if you want something that's a bit different in the submachine gun category, you can obviously use the Supari. But I'm just trying to give you the most wide range of weapons as possible. The DG50 did get nerfed, but it's still pretty decent in regards to weaponry um now honestly i do use this variant that makes it almost see-through so i don't use a scope but if you are looking to use a scope i would remove the high grain rounds and obviously put a side of your choice but i don't need it but this is the class that i run again nothing really has changed in regards to it with a sentry gun kills really quick super easy to control honestly can't go wrong with a dg58 still um, now, I do have the Striker 9. Again, still a very good weapon. Uh, there is next to no recoil with the weapon right now. Um, is it as fast moving as 
The Supari, no. The Supari is definitely a lot faster. But this gun is still reliable. And it still gets the job done. So if you haven't got the Supari leveled up, this is still a very, very, very good alternative. Um, to run over the attachments quickly, I do have the Casus Break, the Woody Long Bow, Brewing Heavy Support, 40, I uh, don't 40 rounds, high grain rounds, and the re butt reduction plate. Again, if you are wanting to use a set of your choice, get rid of the high grain rounds and whack on whatever you prefer. Class plus I, 2.5 times, all works just as well. Shrike and I'm the 7 Compensator, the Stubby Bow, DL6 Handstop, can also be subtracted for the XRK, 50 round, and the Assault Stock. This is very much important if you are running the stubby barrel. <coughs> and an under barrel is very, very much important. Again, same uh, lethals and tacticals. Again, chopping and changing them around. Um, and obviously, same perks as before. Moving on to the third class. We have Sulfur Dyer's kind of creeped in its way. And I personally think it's a very, very good weapon. It's the Holger 26. Now... The target Polka 26 have been partnered up with the Supari for a reason. The Supari, again, being a very fast moving weapon. The Holga 26 is quite slow. Compared to the DG58, it is quite a slow weapon, but it has its benefits. The Holga 26, really fast time to kill. Um, it does have a little bit extra recoil, but it does kill quite quick. 60 round mag as well. If I was to kind of shoot it straight right now, it kind of moves off to the right. If you are CSGO players, kind of like the ak-47 recall um so all you kind of do is kind of you know push down a little bottom to left and you'll have no issues controlling the recall there again partner with the superior which is exactly the same build as before nothing has changed on that super fast movement great time to kill just a great all-in-all -all weapon honestly um i really like this weapon right now i think it's really good it can also again you can use it as a sniper support you can use it as a normal submachine gun you can use it with virtually anything and that's the beauty behind this weapon um again here's the attachments on screen spitfire muzzle i think it's kind of needed the holga factory barrel brewing heavy support high grain rounds it doesn't need a magazine because it's got default 60 and glassless eye optic again 2.5 Use the optic of your choice, really. I like the glass side. I think it's the most clean you can get, personally. Um, and obviously, the secondary, same attention as before. Seven compensator, uh, XRK, high grain, 40 round, and the rescue stock. Same perks, same lethals again. I all I do say there's quite a lot. The lethals are definitely something that you should be chopping and changing around for your playstyle. Some days, I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm, I like running gun in. I run around with throwing knives. Some days, I want to play a bit more tactical. I use... Maybe uh, C4s and maybe uh, Firma Bank Grenades, etc. It really does depend on what your playstyle is. And I obviously chop and change that around depending on what seats you fit. Again, the perks do not change. I ultimately think that the perks, again, are very much to your playstyle. Try, try my perks out. I know some people don't have Mountaineer and put slides of Hand on. I also know sometimes people don't run Double Time and put slides of Hand on. Chop and change what works for you the best. High alert, in my opinion, works the best for me because I play a big map. And obviously, quick fix is really, really good right now. I don't see the need in tempered because of the tempered, um, the, the, the tempered um, vest on the floor. Again, drop and change it around. Now, with the change to the new uh, precision airstrikes, they do come in very quick now. So, if you wanna, if you get down by a sniper rifle, for example, sake, and they call a precision on you, and you can't res your teammate really quick unless. You have the medic vest. So, again, I may chop and change that third perk around, but for right now, I'm keeping it as medic. Moving on to uh, the fourth class we have here is another sniper class, but with a different sniper support. We have the MCW. Now, this is a weapon I do still think kind of goes under the radar. It's, 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 it's an AR that passes off as a sub, but also really good at medium range. Um, I think it has a great time to kill. Uh, if you go into a build and try to finesse with it, you do have a little bit of limitations. But it kind of gives you something that a lot of other sniper supports that doesn't. Mid-range gunfights, you are going to find it a lot easier to beam people down. It has a nice iron sight. I think it's really clean. Um, honestly, I really like the iron sight. I think it's super clean. And it has a fast time to kill. Uh, and obviously, I partnered up with the, with the car 98k. Same attachments as before. Obviously, not changed anything around. 
But the MCW has the Raven, the Jack Raven kit on it from the, uh, I think it was from two seasons ago um, with the Venom stock, the 40 round mag. I don't recommend uh, chopping and changing that around. The magazine needs to be the same. The Black Fearon uh, uh, barrel, which is obviously the movement speed one and the Zemin compensator. I personally think this is really great. I personally think it gives you a really, um, almost like a different feel for a sniper support. I don't think it's talked about enough either. You know, it's got good movement. It's not as good as a submachine gun, obviously. But it's your happy medium. Um, there's a lot of people that run like LMGs or sniper rifles. Uh, and I don't think there's any other AR that can personally work well with a sniper rifle other than the MCW with the conversion kit. So if you've got the conversion kit, I highly recommend using this class setup. If you're wondering why, um, if, you, if you're not a big fan of the iron sights and you'd like to change that around, I would personally get rid of the, with the stock and then put on a sight of your choice again. But I would, I would argue to try and maybe get used to the iron sights. Uh, if you can't, no worries at all. And then moving on to the last class. This is something that has not really been talked about. And, and definitely one weapon that has not been in the meta yet at all. First of all, we've got the subverter. This was in the meta for a long period of time. Really fast time to kill. It's got a little bit of recoil on it. But all you've got to do is pull down on the right analog stick. Super easy to control. And then we've got the Horus. Which, if you remember from season one, we had the uh, Wasp 9 meta. This is the exact same. Now, I'm going to show you the attachments now on screen. You can chop and change a lot of these around besides on the SRV sub here. We have the cases, break L, the Dozo, long barrel, brune heavy support, 50 round mag, and a glass to slide optic. I wouldn't really change much around besides the scope. Uh, but moving on to the submachine gun, a lot of this can be chopped and changed around. Now, I use the heavy barrel for the recoil control, but some people use the light barrel uh, for a little bit of extra mobility. Uh, the Zermin Compensator Flash Hider definitely needed, and um, the uh, XRK Underbow definitely needed. You can run a 60 round mag, but for some weird reason, I don't have it and it's not unlocked for me. Um, let me know in the comment section down below if it is locked for you as well. I don't know why it's locked for me, but it is. And then the mode is stock. Now, you can change around the barrel, put the light stock on it, but it removes the under barrel. So, what I would do as a consequence, well, not a consequence, I put high grain round, or. I'd put the, um, the VLK laser, which is this one. Again, it, it offers a little bit of more mobility. But I would argue that it kind of gives a little bit extra recoil. Um, depending on what type of player you are, I would definitely chop and change and maybe try a little bit of both. They are both just as good as each other. Uh, but again, let me know what you guys think. That is the five classes for the meta right now. And this is what I would be advising everybody to use one of those five classes, depending on what you want to use the most. Let me know what you guys think of the classes down below in the comment section. And I appreciate all the support on the live streams and the videos recently. And until next time, guys, I'll see you all real soon. Peace, guys. Bye-bye.